The policeman says, would you hold my horse? And I go, officer, of course. I prop my back against the wall, trying, as I take the reins, to look obliging. Another bloke holds another horse nearby. We nod politely as we catch each other's eye. In the middle of town, in the middle of the day, a breach of the peace is underway. Suddenly, the shouty man with whom the police had remonstrated boots off, goes down and they're sitting on his head. Roger that. 10-4. Copy, copy. 10-8. And then we wait. And wait. And wait. The crowd that has gathered starts to shuffle and hum and it becomes apparent that backup is failing to come. Just as I'm thinking I could be here all day, I realise the horse is looking at me in a funny way. An almost imperceptible shudder runs from one massive end of it to the other. It fixes me with an unblinking eye and, with a guttural sigh, starts tossing its massive head violently and, I suspect, deliberately. And I'm thinking, I've always liked the idea of horses and how they smell, but do you know, bloody hell, it's not till you get up close that you can see just what giant fuckers there can be. It starts violently chewing its bit and the size of the teeth on it. A spool of drool gloops down to land on my shaking, outstretched hand and, oh, now it's begun to expose shiny swathes of orange gum. And I know that it knows that I can't leave. It understands. I've got no reprieve. I'm eight years old in a piano lesson in a living room where the air has coalesced into a man in bell-bottoms with a tash who's sprinkling the piano keys with his fag ash as I arpeggio dismally through hell state and the years telescope ahead towards grade eight. I stop a passerby and say, please, could you take over? I need to leave. And he goes, absolutely, of course, not problem, of course. He said, I, I grew up with a horse. And he starts happily blowing up its nose and making crooning noises as I cycle off slowly with my legs shaking. The pedals are light beneath my feet and the air is birdsong sweet. Who'd have thought at the end of the day it could be so easy to get away? The foxglove woodland hours, you see, when you terminate tuition after grade three. Because sometimes you don't have to stay the course for a man in bell-bottoms or a big fuck-off horse.